What's going on, everyone? Uh, gonna solve this question on a DDM that I received from a student. Um, I hope it's uh, helpful to you guys. So Riverbed uh, limited current, their current dividend is 340, so that's D0. Dividends are gonna grow by 7% for years one to th three. Okay, let's draw our timeline. They're gonna grow by 7% for years one, two, three. Okay, 5% for years four through seven, so four, five, six, seven, the growth rate will be five. And then 1% thereafter. So after this point, 1%. The required rate of return is 10%. So what is the current stock price? Okay, um, three parts here. So we're gonna split it here, here, so we've got two growing annuities and we've got one growing perpetuity. So, I mean, that's one way to do it. You can do it a few, di a few different ways, but this is the way I'm going to do it. So I'm going to start with the, you know, with these growing annuities or with these complex timelines, you always want to have the first payment of each section. So I've highlighted the three payments I'm going to need to solve this question. So D1 is going to be 340. That's my D0. Uh, plus seven percent three point six three eight okay and then I'll use my growing annuity formula which is uh, basically PMT one over K minus G you might call it R minus G it's the same thing 1 plus g over 1 plus k to the n. So 3.638 divided by k, which is your, your required rate of return. g is your growth rate, so 7%. 1 plus g over 1 plus k. And you have three payments, 1, 2, 3. All right, so give me a sec to punch this on the calculator. Okay, so I got a present value here of uh, 9.65. Okay, so I'm gonna put, so 9.6537. I'll put this aside. This is you know, part of my answer, but it's not my final answer. Now we'll move to the second growing annuity. I need D4. So for D4, I'm going to take D0. I'll add 7% to it. So instead of writing D0, I'll just write it out. D0, which is $3.40. I'm going to add 7% to it three times, right? Because I'm going from 0 to 1, 2, 3. I'm adding 7% three times. And then I'm going to add 5% once. So multiply that by 1.05 to the 1. So 3.4 times 1.07 to the power of 3 times 1.05 is 4.37. That's my fourth dividend. And then I'll do the exact same formula as I did here because it's still a growing annuity. Um, so I'll use 4.37 divided by k minus g multiplied by 1 minus 1 plus g over 1 plus k to the 4. And this is going to give me PV3, right? Because it's forward starting. My first payment is at the end of uh, the fourth year. And so my present value would be one period before that. So 4.37 divided by 0 0.05 times 1 minus. Okay, so that PV3 is 14.84, uh, which you'll then have to discount using a lump sum back to zero. So I'll do 4.84 divided by one plus K to the three. That's 11.15. So now I have another part of my answer. We're getting close now. 
And I'm going to repeat that process for the last area, which is the growing perpetuity. So I'm going to need uh, D8. So for D8, I'm going to take my D4, which was 4.37. D4, right? So count. You're going to add 5% to that one, two, three times. Not four, because we're already at four. So I'm already here. So I'm going to add 5% to that three times. And then I'll add 1% to it once. Basically just to take me that extra period to 8. Okay, so 4.37 times 1.05 to the power of 3 times 1.01. .01. So D8 is 5.11. Then we'll use our present value of a perpetuity formula, which is P and T1 over K minus G. Again, you might call it R. So 5.11 divided by K minus G. And this, because I'm using D8, or PMT8, whatever you call it. This is PV7. So PV7 is 56.77, which I will now discount back to time zero, like I did for the second part, 56.77 over 1 plus k to the 7. The present value of that is 2914. So the idea here is I'm discounting each section back to 0. I'm not worried about the whole question. I'm doing it in parts. It's easier for me that way. I don't have to try and combine everything too early. But now that I've got the present value of each segment of my timeline, I can just add it all together. So if I add up the three numbers in yellow, so 9.6537 plus 11.15 plus 29.14, I get a price at time zero of 49.94. Okay, that's how I would solve this question. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Good luck.